Anybody hungry? I, I was thinking of whipping up some scad steaks. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, Captain. And we couldn't have gotten this far without you. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, it's true, Grease. Thank you. Hey, I hope you get in there and you find that hollow thing. Holocron. Are you sure it's something you should find? What do you mean? The children on that list. If you take them from their homes to train as Jedi, won't they be hunted like you? It has to be kept out of the hands of the Empire. It'll help us put an end to the Empire. Oh, hey, uh, change of plans. We're arriving. Oh, Grease. <laughs> yeah? I take my steak rare. Huh? <sighs> huh? Okay, now we're cooking. Hello, everybody. We've started this episode with a cutscene. Welcome to part 19 of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order New Game Plus, the playthrough here on my little corner of gaming universe here on YouTube. My little universe here on YouTube. Still working on that intro, though, to make it perfect. Uh, this is Gabe Roberts. Welcome to Gabe Roberts Place, my gaming channel. And let's continue. Um, last time. Last time. We've been on Dathomir, we defeated Malakos, and it's been quite an epic episode, I have to say. A beautiful, beautiful episode. It's almost as beautiful and amazing as that little creature that's in there. Um, and it was fantastic. Um, my skills of fighting, I defeated Malakos in the first try, and now we're here. We recovered the Astrium as well. And uh, now we're going to go forth, journey forth, on Bogano with the Astrium. We're going to go in the temple that we've been a couple of episodes ago, quite a while ago, and see what that little thing activates on this planet in the tomb. Let's talk to those, uh, to my There's sister. There's something weird about this place. The energy is different here. Yeah, it's different than Dathomir. It's yes. pure. Dathomir is intricate. Its ancient power emanates from the shadows. Bogano feels more simplistic, and yet, I can't figure it out. I like Bogano. Special. There's a reason the Zeppo built their vault here. Hang on. Okay, we're not gonna talk to Seer. I, I just, I like my sister, you know? I like my sister. I like her. The rest, they're cool. That's all. That's all they are. Let's see where we have to go. Let's see where we have to go. Uh, where do I have to go? Open the ancient vault on Bogano. Is it here? Is the ancient vault down here? I don't remember. I don't remember. No, it's not here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look. We'll find you a home. Look at that! I want one BD1! I, oh! We have a boggling companion! I'm gonna cry myself! Is this the kind of from it is. It does. I don't know. Let's push it. I don't feel like doing that right now. Not that I give up. But this takes a while and I just... It's not that important to get another stim canister. I feel like we're strong enough, although for Trilla, you know, I'm going to take it after. After we do the business, we're going to do that too. So guys, new objective uh, added to holo map. It's in, in the, it's in that big thing right there. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. I feel like we can go there now. Um, not like that. 
But like this, I would take this. I would take it as a win. Woo! And that. Uh, oop! How do I go up there? Anybody now? How do I go up there? How do I go up there? How do I go up there? Oh baby, tell me How do I go up there? I think this is the way to go ha. Eh. Anybody? Can I climb? What's, what's happening? The door is locked. Are you ki- Oh, oh. Some vines. Some vines. The vines saved the day. We made it! It was fast and easy enough to get here. Sprint, Cal! Fast as the winds! Fast as the mountains! Ow! I fought those things last episode in the most fantastic way possible. Hey, why are you defeating me in this way? I'm so bad. This was a horrible fight. Let me just tell you what's horrible. And this is what horrible is. This is the definition of a horrible fight. I fought those monkeys perfect, perfectly last time. And now... This is gonna sound strange, but I think it's the Astrium. The closer we get to the vault... It's vibrating in your pelvic region, doesn't it? I had this experience myself with some other things. We still don't know how this thing works. So I know the vibration feeling, Cal. I know what you're talking about. If you had a business that you were passionate about, then you would know what it takes to run a fucking business, but you don't. So don't even act like you know what I'm talking about. Let's squeeze in. Here we go, BD. Woo 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 woo. I kind of remember what's going to happen. It's dramatic. Let's see. The dramaticism. The, the dramaticism. Amazing. The vault itself is built like a giant holocron. I'm linked. Something about that wall. It's the wall. Let's check it out. Let's face our demons from the past right now. Oh, I forgot about this. I offer this record of our civilization. Oh, this particular part. Despite our wisdom and technological achievement, we face extinction. Dogma blinded us to the path of balance, and gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. The greater control we sought, the further we fell into ruin. I lead the remnants of my people into the great unknown, hoping that we will finally find peace. shall teach them the ways of the Force. Master Custis. We shall begin with physical preparation. What is the Force? Gather round, everyone. Master Custis, you think the Empire will find us? Oh, younglings. I know the fate that you will suffer. All over again. It's what Anakin set in motion ever since he dealt with the younglings. It's not my fault. Oh, younglings, so naive. <laughs> so naive. I have the high ground, younglings. <laughs> Bakara, younglings are. Uh. 
Protect yourself. No way, youngling. We know your fate. Well, youngling, it's not my fault. You didn't run faster. What could I say? What could I say? Surrender now, and we may spare the youngest. That's right. On your... My god. I like Anakin, so it's not my fault the younglings are captured. Is it my fault, though? It's sad, but it's like, you know. Oh well. It, it, you know, you have to deal with what's happening to you. That's what I believe in. I'm kidding, you guys. Of course I feel sorry for those younglings, but it's a game. I'm just having fun. Let's just be for real. Let's change our costume into the Purge Trooper. Oh fuck, I can't. Feeling I'd see you here. Oh? How uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumble from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Brockett then. A scant mercy. I waged one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the Holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the four sensitive children on that list, as well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. She has beautiful makeup. You have to give it to her. I kind of like it. You too, bitch. Don't you think you're special? Over here.
careful with that thing. It's been through hell. Don't go. We need to stick together. No. I'm going to lure them away, and then I'm going to circle back. Stay with the younglings, Trilla. May the Force be with you. Master! Don't leave us! Trilla, what's going to happen? It's okay. It's okay. No. No! Wow, I don't even know what to say. It's been very traumatica. Very traumatic. Whew! You guys, that was, that was, that was something. Let's get out of here. I feel like... Bad for Seer. In all honesty, I feel bad for Seer. I feel like what happened to her would break anyone and what she did is completely understandable that she had to tap into the dark side. Hey, that's not what I planned to do. Oh fuck. And I feel like Kel has also been through a lot of shit. Trilla as well. So I don't think there's any bad people in this game. There's just bad circumstances that made them bad people. Thank you, welcome to my TED Talk. Hey. So that's what I believe. That's what I believe happened. It's so sad. It's just like, what? I don't, it feels weird. I'm at a loss for words. I, 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 every time a game gets so serious, I... I feel kind of bad for all the characters and... Yeah. I joke a lot about Seer that I don't like her because she has this weird attitude that just she's just not likable. But in reality, she's been through a lot, like in this game, in this story. You know, if this was a true story, it would be so traumatic. And there are a lot of people out there in the world that are going through all of our things, being tortured and stuff. I'm not talking about a Star Wars universe, I'm talking about this planet. And there are horrible people out there, so... And horrible people make good people sometimes do bad things, because the circumstances is what makes some... Sorry about that. Is what makes someone act a certain way. And change their patterns and behavioral patterns into things that are bad in order to adapt to survive. You know? But everybody is redeemable. Every single person on this planet is redeemable in some way, shape, or form. I believe there's no bad people out there. 
even though it's very hard to actually live your life like that, like if somebody wants to hurt you on purpose, you know, you can turn the other cheek. You have to fight for yourself, for your survival. It's just, yeah, it's something to think about. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Welcome to my second TED Talk for today. Let's go to the ship and see what Seer has to say for herself. Seer. I saw what happened between you and Trilla, what you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant, I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. I'm responsible for the path that Trilla is on. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility. And it's about what we do next that's important. You taught me that, Sierra. You're right. I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi, where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. I'll be going alone. I have a friend with you. I like Seer. No. Uh or what was happening? Do I not like her? What what is she saying? I'll have a Jedi with me. <gasps> oh, Seer, stop it, you woman. Neil. An epic moment is about to happen. It's like an engagement with for Jedi. By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. You are ready. So are you. Oh, I got the chills, you guys. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! This playthrough has been a fantastic journey for me. It's not over. I'll save my wappy, wappy um, monologue for the end of the series. But let me just tell you, we have one planet left, and we're done with the series. And this series has been so fun. But as I said, I'll save the monologue. Guys... I'll see you in the next episode. Consider liking if you like what I do to here on this channel. Consider subscribing and uh, turning the all notifications on so you can get notified and for all the videos that I post and if you to show your support for my channel. It means a lot. Leave a comment down below for games you want me to play next. And thank you so much for watching. If you watched so far or if you just stumbled upon my channel, welcome. Thank you for all the new people. All the old viewers, I love y'all. Stay safe, wear a mask. We're still in pandemic times, dangerous times, but we're all gonna be okay. Perseverance is the way to move forward in life. No matter how hard it is, you can always make it. And just uh, like our protagonist right here, Cal Cassis, he's been through shit. Yes, it's a fictional story, but it does remind me of life and how important it is to fight for what you believe in. And he's now a Jedi Knight, and he's ready to go on that planet of torture. And that's exactly what we're going to do next episode. I love you guys. This is Gabe Roberts. Uh, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.